Hey guys, in this video I just wanted to talk a little bit about sales funnels and how you can add one to your WordPress site. Um, to do this, we're going to be using my favorite funnel builder, ClickFunnels. Uh, ClickFunnels is a great platform, guys. It's well designed, easy to use, it helps you increase sales, and it just generally takes a lot of the headache and hassle out of creating funnels and sales funnels and email opt-in forms. It saves you a ton of time and money, guys. It's a really great platform, trust me. But I'm going to say, guys, the links that they create for you they just don't look good. I mean, look at this. When you're trying to convince somebody to trust your link and click on it, when it looks like this and it looks unattractive, it can actually turn people away and lower the amount of engagement you get on that link. Now, there are two ways you can fix this. Uh, one way is to actually go here into your account settings and click on domains and add a domain to your account. Now, depending on how you do it, uh, for example, if you want to add a new domain here, and register a new domain, uh, whatever the domain is, it doesn't matter. It would actually cost you $20 to do that. Now, there is a, an, another option that's a bit cheaper. You could register it somewhere else, or if you already have a domain name that you're not using or something, you could add it here. But the problem with that, that involves editing and changing information at your register, like the C name info. And I can tell you honestly, it doesn't matter how well they try to tell you how to do that or people try to give you tutorials and stuff like that. It never goes smoothly. There's always a hiccup or a bump along the way. You know, websites update and change stuff. And that tutorial that was like even a month old or two months old no longer is valid because now it's a completely different way of doing it. That's why for me, I prefer just to do it all in WordPress. I mean, for most of my sites, I use WordPress anyways. So the easiest way that I like to do it is just to use a, a plugin uh, created by ClickFunnels that handles it all for me. It makes it really easy and really simple. Um, let's go over step by step how to do this, okay? Uh, and for this tutorial, guys, um, we're going to be using a simple email opt-in form. Um, it doesn't matter which funnel you're trying to add to your WordPress theme or site, it's the exact same step. So it doesn't matter. We're just gonna use this one because it's the one we have ready and it's very simple and it's easy to show how to do it with, okay? So first off, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to log into your, your WordPress site and get into your dashboard, okay? Then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to plugins, add new, go to keyword or search plugins and you're gonna type in ClickFunnels, okay? I can type that there and search. Now there's going to be a bunch that come up here, guys. What you want to do is you want to select this one here that says ClickFunnels and it's by this company, Edison. Okay, that is the company that actually owns and runs ClickFunnels. That's the one you want to use. You want to use their official plugin. Okay, click install now. Once it's installed, you're going to have to click activate. Then you're going to have a thing that comes up here that says click funnels. Okay. Next thing what you're going to have to do is click on click funnels, click on settings. And over here, you're going to have API connection. Okay. This is where you're going to connect it to your actual click funnels account. Now, in order to do that, you need to use your email that you signed up with at click funnels. So whatever the email that you use to log in, that's the one you use here. Then you're going to, have to go into your account and you're going to get a token, uh, API key for WordPress. Okay. Uh, it's all pretty simple. Once you get that, you paste that there and paste that there. Now, to get the actual API key, I'll show you now. It's pretty simple here. Go back to your ClickFunnels account. Click here. Go to, I believe, it's account settings. It's been a while since I've done this, guys, so <laughs> hopefully I haven't changed anything. Scroll down to the bottom. And there you go, WordPress API. I'm not going to expand this because it's a private key. You're not supposed to share this. So anyways, you click expand. You copy that. You go back here and you press paste, okay? So you put your email here and you paste in that key that you got from here into here and click save settings. Uh, I'm gonna do that and then we'll continue. Okay, so once you've done that, what you need to do is just go to compatibility check and make sure everything is green. Uh, if something is wrong, it'll be in red and it'll usually give you like a step-by-step -step, like sort of tell you how to fix it. Um, so make sure it's all green. Uh, one thing that is important, if this for some reason the permalinks is not working or enabled, you have to go into settings, permalinks, and you have to set it to this way, post. Okay, not one of these ones. It has to be like that. So it's like a quote unquote, I guess, pretty link, I guess is what they call it. Uh, once you got that set up, let's actually go and create our first page with our funnel on it. So click on click funnels, pages, add new, and this is where you choose your page type and everything like that. I leave it on regular page. You can do home page or four or four. It's up to you. I just leave it like that. Select your funnel. 
I think it's that one. Choose your steps. So if you have multiple steps, you can choose different steps based on what you want to do. I don't know why you'd ever want to go to the thank you page before the opt-in, but hey, if you want to, you could. And then here's where you're going to add your custom slug. So we're just going to put it something simple like join. So whatever you put here will be your domain name slash and then whatever this is here. So I just put join. So it's something simple. And save the page. Uh, now that's all set up, let's take a look and see actually if it works. All right, let's go to that page. And there you go. We have domain name slash join and it takes us to this. When they click on this, the drop down comes, email test. And when we click this, it should send us to the thank you page with the one time offer. Now there is another way you could do it um, if you wanted to, and that would be to use short codes. I personally don't use short codes, but um, some people might want to. Uh, I find this way is probably the easiest and simplest and to me the most effective, but maybe there might be a point where you want to use short codes, so I'll show you how to do that. So to do that, you would go back here to click funnels, click on short codes, select your funnel, choose your page, select the height of the iframe, so 900, um, enable scrolling if you want or not. I'll put disable just for just for fun. Uh, then you would just copy this right here. So this would be your short code. Okay. Then you'll go up to your page or your post. We'll just go to uh, pages. And we'll click on this here. We'll click on edit. Then just click here, I guess. Uh, yep, add. And we click on short code. And we just paste it in there as a short code. That would be it. All right. And there you go. This would be embedded into whatever page you want to put into like any short code. But honestly, guys, the way that I prefer to do it is the first way that I showed you, which is creating the page uh, through click funnels here and then just adding them here. I think that's the easiest way, but that's how you do it with short codes if you wanted to do it. Um, I guess that's it really for this video, guys. Um, that's how you guys can add a sales funnel to your WordPress site using ClickFunnels. It's pretty simple. It's easy to do. They give you a, a nice um, plugin that does it all for you, makes it very simple to integrate it seamlessly. I really do like it. Uh, if you guys want to have a copy, a free copy of the funnel that I use in this tutorial, uh, I will include a link below in the description. It'll tell you how you can get it for free. Also, if you guys are new to ClickFunnels, and uh, you guys want to get started without spending any money, I will also include a link to a free 14-day trial. So if you click the link below in the description and sign up, you'll get a free 14-day trial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out. It helps the channel. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you then.